Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean when I say in my rules of repair that a failure is a symptom of something much greater. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've got a force triad here. I haven't seen one of these in a while, but this should just go to show you exactly what I mean when I come up with these rules of repair. It's not magical. It really does mean something. Let's take a look. All right, guys, right here is the force triad, and you can see it says calibration needed. It's got E274, which means, hey, it lost its calibration values. Why did it lose its calibration values? Well, on the inside, this guy right here, it normally has a battery that's socketed right over here on this. And that battery maintains your calibration values. Now this little timekeeper right here, it is a general part that you can find anywhere that you want to look for battery. But this little battery right here is responsible for keeping your calibration values. Now I could have calibrated this unit with it powered on and I guarantee it would have kept the calibration values. But the thing is, is every failure is a symptom of something larger. So what would have happened? I would have certainly got this unit back eventually. And that's because it was gonna happen again. The reason being, this little battery right here is a lithium cell and it's supposed to be sitting above three volts. Well, it's sitting at 2.92 volts. That is a failed lithium cell. Now it's a part that we can buy anywhere, but the problem is, is the customer is expecting this to just be a PM. I had no idea about any error codes, but this just goes to show you, if you do the bare minimum and you just solve the symptom, the problem is still there. So guys, rules of repair. One of my rules is every failure is a symptom for a bigger problem. You gotta find the root of the problem and now you can fix them, the whole entire thing. Thanks for watching, guys.